Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and today we are out at the range doing the Great Serbian DMR Challenge. I have here a Yugoslav M76 rifle and a Yugoslav M91 rifle. Now the M76 here is actually a parts kit built on an American receiver, unfortunately, by Century Arms. So we'll see if it runs mostly reliably today. Uh, the M91 I have is one of the very recently imported M91s, courtesy of Zostava USA. Uh, we've got the original proper scopes on both of them. They're both four power scopes. I've got a couple 10 round mags for each. Uh, we are going to do some shooting at 100 yards and just see what happens. So I'm going to start with a 10 round group out of each rifle, then we'll go up and compare them and uh, just see what the handling feels like shooting both of these rifles side by side and back to back. Now I have both of these rifles set to gas setting 2, which should run them both, and that's in the interests of fairness for handling. Uh, the M76 does not have a bipod, so I'm shooting it off a bag, and I'll just do the same with the M91, even though it does have a piece of Picatinny rail on the bottom of the handguard. Ten rounds. that one a little bit low. We are out, that's 10 rounds in the M76, which, as it does, has jammed the magazine follower down into the body of the magazine, because I don't know why they couldn't design a follower that didn't do that, but they didn't. So, I really like the handling on the M76. I really wish it was a little more reliable. Um, there are a lot of issues that come up around these American-made receivers for these guns. Uh, magazine placement, magazine height. Some of that appears to be affecting this one and it's kind of a crapshoot. If you buy one of these guns, and they haven't been making these for many years now, but if you buy one or bought one, it's kind of a crapshoot whether you get one that works reliably or not. So there's that. Let's go on to the M91. Right. Gas system two on this one as well, 10 rounds. The scope on this guy is offset a little bit to the left, which is annoying, uh, but can be worked around. The, the M76 scope is centered right over the bore. We also have a pistol grip stock on this. This is how it was actually originally manufactured. Uh, or a thumb hole stock, I'm sorry. I prefer a pistol grip stock. But here we go.
All right, so this was also set to gas system two. I have bumped it down. Uh, Zostava recommends setting three for the first 200 rounds. I haven't actually quite fired 200 through it yet, so I might've done that a little bit early. I'm willing to give them the benefit of the doubt on that one malfunction early on in the magazine. All it did was lock open early, just pop the mag, pop the bolt handle back and it closed and ran. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at those two groups and see how the two rifles did. All right, let's start with our M76. I was aiming right here, so zero is pretty good. We've got a bit of a wide, uh, uh, a wide horizontal spread there, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's not bad. That is one, two, three, four, five, uh, like a six inch wide spread, but only about an inch and a half vertical. Now, the M91. Ugh. Ooh, sharp rocks. I'm not sure what caused this, but that's just a tear in the paper, so we can ignore that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do I have a ten? One, two, three, five. I don't think any of these are doubles. They don't look like doubles on the back, so I may have pulled one off. Um, but otherwise, almost identical size groupings. This one's a little bit narrower, but a little bit taller. So. Both rifles, I suppose it shouldn't come as that much of a surprise. They're both scaled up AKs made by the same factory. You get about the same performance out of both. Um, yeah. So one thing I forgot to mention, I'm using basically the same ammunition in both guns here. We have PPU, uh, eight millimeter Mauser, 198 grain for the, for the M76 and PPU match, uh, 182 grain, 54 rimmed for the M91. So. Shouldn't be any difference in ammunition performance between the two, uh, not any difference in my shooting ability between the two. What you're seeing is either the limits of the rifle or the limits of me as a shooter. And uh, I can't help you on which of those two you're actually getting. But my assessment after, after doing this, after having put ammo beyond just this uh, video through both of these is, I like the M76 better as a design. I really prefer the pistol grip over the thumb hole stock on the M91. I prefer the inline scope. Um, this rifle's a little bit heavier. I wish it had a bipod, but in just overall handling, I really like the M76. Now, the problem is you can't really get a reliable one unless you're willing to spend the money to get one of those small number, and I think we're talking less than 200, early Mitchell imports. The M91 shoots basically exactly as well. Uh, no actual difference in, in shooting, despite the fact that I don't like the handling quite as much. I don't like the fact that on the M91, the scope is offset to the left of the bore. I do like the fact that it's got this bit of Picatinny that you can put a bipod on. It's much easier to adjust the, uh, the gas system on. Um, the, the practical matter is if you want one of these guns for shooting, either competitive or even just recreational shooting, really the M91 is your obvious choice because you can't reliably count on one of the American-made M76 kit guns to work. I've had I have three magazines that I've used in this. All three of them have had issues. Multiple gas settings have had issues. I think it's just a finicky gun based on problems in the receiver. So there are some gunsmiths out there who can fix that sort of stuff, but that's a relatively expensive, time-consuming, and complicated process to try and get into. So if you want a Serbian uh, DMR rifle to actually go out and shoot in a practical manner, the M91 is really kind of the default choice. So I wish we could import proper, fully Zastava-built M76s again, but until that happens, and I, I don't want to take that as too much denigration of the M91 because it is still a rifle very much in the vein of uh, the PSL, the, the Dragunov, almost, not quite. It doesn't have the mechanical improvements that the Dragunov does. Um, the Dragunov is a totally different mechanical system that was brilliantly designed. Uh, but this is absolutely a very capable rifle for what it's intended for. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks for Zostava USA for use of their M91. The M76 is my own.